Here, more than three centuries ago, colonists from England established the first community in the world where men and women of every faith could live in friendship together. The first state house, built in 1634, was dedicated to that principle. And since that day, this ideal has ever been uppermost in the minds and hearts of the people of Maryland. The old church at St. Mary's is a familiar landmark, and it was here in the early days that Marylanders of every creed gathered to worship. Here lived Governor Sharp, remembered by the sporting people of Maryland as the man who imported the first thoroughbred horse to America. Here at Fort McHenry during the bombardment of Baltimore flew the flag that inspired Francis Scott Key to write those immortal words, Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light. This is Annapolis, Maryland's capital, best known as the home of the United States Naval Academy. Founded 95 years ago, it has become one of the truly great American institutions, where each year 2,000 young men from every state in the Union are trained to maintain the glorious traditions of our Navy. Situated on the beautiful Severn River, Annapolis is recognized as the most truly colonial city in the United States. Pimlico, the oldest racetrack in America, has over the years made the sport of kings the king of sports in Maryland. This is truly the sportsman's state, where the thunder of galloping hooves echoes over its green fields and valleys, and the music of the huntsman's horn drifts down the autumn wind. Here the races run for the race's sake, and no man, where his horse is concerned, puts his dream on an allowance. Prudence and half measures have no place here, for this is Maryland.